Dylan, uh, thanks for joining me today, brother. We're gonna be talking about your setup, and I think the first thing that caught my attention with your truck in particular were the wheels, man. So break down what they are, what the specs are, and uh, yeah, what's going on with them? They're a 24 by 14 Extreme Forces. They are a negative 44 offset. Good Lord. So let's stick with the wheels a little bit. So that's a 24 by 14. I thought it was a big wheel. I thought it was a 22, but damn, that's a 24 and a negative 40 something offset, you said? Yes, sir. I would say it's pretty aggressive, to be honest. That's awesome, man. I like the stance, I like how it sits. What made you pick those wheels? Like, what drew you to that style? I've seen a lot of trucks with the wider stance, and it just, it catches my eye for some reason. Is that the thing down there, is like big and, and, and a lot of offset? Is that kind of like the way to roll? That's the only way to roll down here. Is it? Okay. Yeah, you gotta be wide. So it's a 24 by 14, you said? How is it cleaning those things? They look, uh, they look a little intricate. I got a ceramic kit on those for like like five years, so it's not that bad. I mean, I try to walk my truck at least every week. So. Obvious, it's safe to say it's you're a big fan of like that poke, right? You're, you're not going with like the flush or like a stock fitment, and you gotta go all out. Let's get into those tires now. That's in the Arturo Blade, you said? 325 45s on R24s. They're, uh, I think they're like right under a 36, I'm pretty sure. Okay, how do you like those tires? They ride really good. They don't have any roar on them. Or I'm actually really happy with them. They're not too much all terrain, and they're not too many mud terrain, so they're like right in the middle. And another thing about those tires they don't throw rocks or anything that's the big thing that i like about them yeah because you got black paint it looks super clean and your the sides of your truck aren't all mangled up no sir no how about that man well it's good to know i mean because i had trail grapplers on my rafter and they didn't even poke out like maybe but an inch but dude the side of the truck is just trashed so so what made you choose that size with the uh, 24 by 14 tire 35s on 24 by 14s they just don't have enough lip on them and i was afraid that they might curb but i mean i kind of already have curb on them with the bigger tires but i like the way they look for sure i've seen them on one of my buddy's trucks from where i live in habersham nice okay so you actually saw them on a buddy's truck and and figured that was the one for you uh, and i think that's kind of the point of these videos man because somebody out there might be watching our video right now and be like that's a huge wheel but seeing it on your truck it looks perfect i can tell you they're not fun rotating and putting them on they're pretty heavy now with that being said do you feel this is like the truck feel a little like more sluggish with them installed like you know or do you tune the truck at all yeah i have a tune on the truck but i mean i had 20 by 10s on 35s before and then i put those 14 wise on and i feel like i got more traction it, it feels faster to me but i'm mean, not wrong <laughs> that's all right well with the tuner did you uh, like recalibrate your speedo so everything's like you know on point now no i never did that i mean i know it's off we have those like Speedometer things through our town, and it's off when I go like 40, it's off by like three or four. It ain't, it ain't too oh, bad. Oh, that's not too bad. And I like those tires a lot. We've been really, you know, hyping those things up because they're affordable. I mean, compared to like a Nitto or like a BFG, and, and they make some pretty crazy sizing, like the ones you got on your truck. I mean, it's not always easy to find a 24 inch tire. So that that's great. And you're happy with the ride quality, you said? Yes, sir. Yeah, very cool, man. Well, let's talk about how it's all possible and that lift. Now, I did see some BDS upper arms on there. Is, can I assume you're running the full BDS suspension? No, I have actually a six to eight inch pro comp lift and I got the BDS upper control arms because I was like, when I would turn, it would like sort of pop a little bit on certain angles. And I used to have, before I got those vertex shocks, I had just the little blocks with the stock suspension. I didn't like it, it didn't ride that good, but those shocks helped a lot. That's a sizable upgrade, man. I mean, cause yeah, most four, six, whatever inch lift kits, they come with the spacer that you put on top of your stock stuff. And it's like, I mean, yeah, it gets the job done, but I don't think it's necessarily the best way to go. But you notice like a huge change going from the spacer to like a, a legit coilover, huh? Yes, sir. Very cool. What, uh, let's talk about some of the modifications you had to make. Obviously, I'm sure those crash bars are, are long gone, right? Yeah. Yeah, how about the, uh, you said that you actually had to cut the bumper yourself too? Yeah, I had to cut a good bit of my bumper off. I'd say probably three inches, like not all the way across, but just like at an angle, I would say. Yeah. And then a little, I took that plastic piece off. It's on the other, like the inside of the wheel well. Like the fender liner? Yeah, I had to take that off. But I mean, I lined it up real good and it can't even tell I'd cut it, so. And you're good now? Does it rub at all at full turn? No, sir. 
That's awesome, man. One thing I always like to ask people that have a lot of poke like you do, I know that is obviously the look, but some sometimes, depending on where you're at, maybe like the local laws might say, hey, you gotta cover them up. Do you get any flack from where you are down in Georgia with those things? Not with the wheels, no. No, they don't say like, you have to put a flare on there? No. Cause I don't know, I think that would probably kill the look a little bit, right, for you? Yeah, for sure. I like the wide. Now what about like future plans? The truck looks killer. I know this is your second setup behind the 35s you did the first time. Now you got the 24s. Is there anything that you have in mind that you might want to change up in the future? I thought about putting it in a shop and taking the lift and the rear differential off, all the components to the lift and just getting them powder coated like a neon yellow or something. I'm not sure yet. I'm still thinking on it. That's, that would be my future plans if I did anything. Well, that's good to know. I like that, man. Now, coming from SEMA, that seems to be, you know, some of those trucks are just ridiculous, but that's a lot of those guys will do that. We'll take the, you know, the components off, powder coat them, and it really does make a good, you know, nice little pop on, especially under a black truck. It'd look great. Now, is there anything like you regret doing with your setup or anything that you would change, you think? Honestly, no. I mean, I don't really have no regrets. I'm, I'm happy with my truck. I love it. Ah, dude, I love it too. Like, it's not every day you see a 24 by 14 with that negative offset on there. Uh, and it doesn't look out of place. You know, sometimes you hear that and it, make, it might look kind of weird or might look too big, but dude, it looks perfect. I mean, I think the lift size, the wheel and tire size, everything just is very, uh, you know, it flows very well and it, and it complements the truck really well. So uh, nicely done, man, I dig it. I'm digging the stance a lot, brother. Uh, the truck looks killer and uh, good luck to you in the future, man. I appreciate it. All right, there you go, guys. That was Dylan and his incredibly clean 2015 F-150 with just a monster setup, right? 24 by 14s with a negative 44 millimeter offset and essentially a 36 inch Turo tire around there and a six to eight inch lift kit there with the coilovers. The combination of the lift, the wheel, the offset, it's well done, man. So congrats on a really clean build, Dylan. If you want more info on Dylan's breakdown, uh, check out his build page back at americantrucks.com. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm Justin and remember for all things, things F-150, keep it right here at americatrucks.com.